Hello everyone and welcome to our guide on Minecraft Commands. Whether you're playing plugins, mods, or just straight up vanilla Minecraft, there are plenty of commands to learn about in Minecraft. This can even mean some of the most basic ones without even being opt. Those can help your game immensely if you know what they do. So today we're covering a few of them. How to use Minecraft commands. First and foremost, the first thing you need to do is open up your chat bar. Inside of your chat bar, you're gonna need to make best friends with this one key in particular. That's the forward slash. The forward slash is what allows you to put in commands for every single command that you can think of. There is one other way to do it without the slash, and let's show you. Using admin Minecraft commands. If you're trying to use these commands on a server, specifically a Nitrato server, then you can actually do it within the live server console. If you click into that section in your main panel, then you go into the console area and type in op, and then your username, for example, you don't even have to use the slash and the command will work online. Then you'll be opt and you'll have access to every other command that you could think of that is in your game. One of the most helpful commands is slash help. If you do this plus a letter that you're looking for for that command specifically, it'll pull up the letter like N. If you also want to go by page, you can do help and then the page number and it'll continue to go on, so on and so forth. This is a very helpful command for not only learning what commands are available, but also what they do because sometimes just seeing the command doesn't exactly tell you what it is. Some of the other useful commands that are out there are things like slash game mode. This will allow you to switch between spectator, creative, adventure, and even survival versions of the game. This will allow you to have different aspects of the gameplay in your game. Then you can do slash game rule, and then the different types of rules that are available will also be there for you to change such as do daylight cycle, which I have set as false right now so that my server never goes to nighttime. There's also everybody's favorite slash game rule, keep inventory. This is pretty self-explanatory. If you set it to true, then you get to keep your inventory. There are a ton of game rules out there that I highly recommend you check out. Things like do fire tick, which stop fire spreading if you have it set to false. Check these out. Command list. If we were to cover every single command, this video would be a very long one. That's not to say we won't do a video like that, but you definitely have to let us know. In the meantime, if you want to check out every single command, you can always check the description below for the link to the guide that goes with this video. Conclusion Well everyone, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful enough that it'll help you out in your gameplay. Like I said, if you want to see a full listed video, then let us know. By the way, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing the notification bell. That way we know this is the type of content that you like to see. Until next time.